Hey there folks, Caleb Downing with SDI, and today we're gonna to talk about this adjustable front sight gas block uh, from Rifle Dynamics and how it can add adjustability to your gas system on your AK platforms. Let's get into it. All right, so this is pretty much, this is very simple, right? This was a Wasser 10 when it started out. Had the front sight way up here, a traditional gas block back here. Basically, I trimmed off the barrel a little bit. This is now pin and welded on here. Uh, the muzzle device and I installed it only has these two screws here but I installed this front sight adjustable gas block or uh, I don't know if they want to call it adjustable gas block because it's made to set it and leave it you're not supposed to sit there and fiddle with it all the time um, but you get to adjust it to how you want your system to run right so right now I have the set screw it's it's very similar to most traditional adjustable uh, gas blocks like on ARs it has a set screw in the front I have it closed off all the way so this firearm will basically be a single shot okay so just to demonstrate that I'm gonna shoot it and show how it just it will not cycle it's completely closed off it's a single shot let me show you all right here we go we got one in the chamber watch this uh, charging handle it's not even gonna move it may move under inertia but it, nothing's going to eject all right the recoil's different, it just feels completely off. You feel like you had a malfunction, because you kind of did, but you did it on purpose. Take this guy out, and as we can see, well, fell out. Ah. As you can see, it was it fired, but it did not eject, it didn't do anything. If you're gonna fire this thing suppressed, you know, you want to get the most out of your suppressed system, you could do this, this would be an option for you. So this is as quiet as this AK platform is gonna get. It's not bad, but it's a single shot, all right? So depending on what you're trying to do, yeah, there you go. That's what you can do. But that's not what we're trying to do. We're not trying to close this thing all the way off. That's just for demonstration. So let me open this back guy back up. We'll open it up all the way, and I'll show you how this guy looks overgassed, and then we'll tune it back down to where it's supposed to be. All right, and like I said, you basically just stick your Allen key down in the front, and you adjust the gas this way. <clears throat> doesn't have detents doesn't have numbers so you're gonna have to be you know a little bit careful um, but this is how you adjust this guy all right so now we got this guy opened up all the way hopefully you can see that he's opened up all the way all right so load this guy now he should fire but he's probably gonna be way over gas yeah shooting it out over there you can feel the recoil it's like an AK it's like an AK. We do have a, a comp on there, but that's still an AK. All right. Now, let me show you what you can do now. Now that this guy cycles, he functions, let's tune this guy back down, calm it down, tune it up a little bit, and I'll show you how this guy can run. All right, so we've put this guy back down inside a little bit. Didn't take much, because um, it opened up all the way. This guy actually still runs pretty well. It's over gas, but he runs pretty well. So now we've tuned it down a little bit. It should be a little bit smoother. All right, so now we'll throw a suppressor on there and this should be as quiet as the system should run. It's in semi-automatic, not single shot like it was before, uh, but let's see how that sounds. All right, so still not super overgassed, not extremely gassy, and not you know excessively punchy with the recoil. So that is an option for you guys if you're looking at adjusting the gas on your AKs. This is an option. This is one I'm very happy with this. Um, it's a little bit more gunsmithy, right? Because you got to remove actual pieces and parts. You can get the KNS adjustable gas piston, which is it's still a little gunsmithy. You got to punch pins and stuff, um, but it is more user serviceable right you can tune that thing up a little bit easier without tools this guy requires tools but this guy is a set it and forget it kind of thing anyway hope you found that interesting and helpful if you got ak's how do you adjust your gas on it or do you or do you even care i don't know some people don't even care some people like their stuff to be gassy i don't know F whatever floats your own boat all right cable down to sdi hope you found it interesting and helpful hopefully we'll catch you in the next video see ya